Welcome all. In this session, I am going to show you one of the useful tools for software testers, that is bug magnet. So what exactly is this tool and how it can be useful for the software testers? Let me explain. Let's say you are testing an application which is having a lengthy form. Let's take this application, demo application, and let's go to a particular page which has a lengthy form. Now, let's say you are testing the functionality of this register account which is having a lengthy form. Now, in order to test this, we need to provide test data. The test data can be valid test data sometimes and invalid test data sometimes. Now, as a tester, if you want to test this register account uh, form in a detailed manner, you need to provide different types of data here, right? So this will take a lot of time for the tester guys because tester has to think a lot of types of test data like valid and invalid types of test data for entering into this particular fields and thereafter testing the register account functionalities properly working according to the provided invalid or valid test data, right? So instead, instead of manually providing all this uh, or manually filling all these fields of this register account, what we can do is we can simply install this add-on or tool known as bug magnet, which will make our job easy guys. It will suggest some valid and invalid test data and automatically fill the forms for us. Let me show you guys how useful this particular tool is. Now, in the Chrome browser, guys, uh, simply search for bug space magnet. That's it. You don't have to search anything. Just bug space magnet and search it. And you'll get this uh, bug magnet.org. Click on this. You'll be taken to this uh, bug magnet official page where you see an option like get on Chrome Web Store. Click on this. Okay, it's a Chrome add on, guys. Okay, it will take you to the Chrome Web Store from where you can install this bug magnet. Now click on add to Chrome, add extension. Now bug magnet will be installed in our browser so once installed you just need to click on this extension sign just pin it so that you can see it here right that's fine now what next the next thing is like go to the page where you want to fill the details into the form right in order to test the form a lengthy form let's say i'll go to the page register page where i can see a lengthy form now if i have to fill the valid and invalid test data here what i have to do is simply right click on the fields where you have to enter the test data. Let's say I will right click on the first name text box field, right click here, and you'll in the right click menu options, you'll get this bug magnet option. So here you need to select these options, guys. Let's say I want to enter the name, right? So I'll select uh, what, guys? Uh, so I'll select some name here. From here, I will select some say, okay, like this. Some test data I'm able to enter. Right click again, bug magnet. Here I want to enter some, okay. Uh, if you want to select some name like uh, like this, okay, done. Some test data I'm able to enter, right? I am not entering it manually. So bug magnet is helping me with the different sorts of uh, sample test data, valid or invalid. I can show you clearly in case of email, guys. Uh, in email, right, you can enter different types of test data like valid and invalid. Right click into the email box and say bug magnet and select here email address. You see it's showing you valid and invalid, guys. If you select valid, right, so it will give you all the valid kind of email formats, okay? Different types of test data. You see a lot of test data is there, guys. You can test this particular application functionality in a depth manner, right? With lots of test data you can test. No need to create the test data by your own. So if you want to enter some invalid email address, let's say there are different cases here, like for in invalid email address, let's say missing at the rate. This is an email address which is having at the rate missing. Or if I have to enter a valid email address, then go to the email address and go to the valid section. I want a simple valid email address. Select this email at the red domain.com is a simple email address like this, guys. You see, with the help of this uh, bug magnet, you are able to enter the test data on the fly into the form. You don't have to manually type the test data, guys. Okay, simply fill up the different types of test data, uh, valid or invalid, and perform the testing. Okay, in different combinations, you can test this register account so that you can easily find the bugs case because you don't have to waste your time in preparing the valid or invalid test data. With this bug magnet, the testing tester job will become very easy, guys. Fine. So hope, guys, uh, you understood how to use bug magnet and how to save your time while testing the lengthy forms for filling the valid or invalid test data into the form fields. So that's it, guys. Thank you. Bye.